in this video clip, we will see how we are going to get the graph of functions. Here is the first example. Uh, f of x equals absolute value of x. Before we look at this analytic expression, let's work on this table first. Uh, we know the analytic expression is y equals absolute value of x. So here are the points I chose, which are very convenient for me to get the graph. Of course, you may choose a different one. Uh, like here, I chose negative 2. You may choose negative, point five, uh, negative 1.5 or negative 2.5. So it's up to you. Huh? When x equals negative 2, you plug in here, you then have an absolute value of negative 2, which is 2. Then you have a negative 2 to this point on the graph. Similarly, when you choose x equals negative 1, so you have a negative 1 absolute value, which is 1. So negative 1, 1 is on the graph. Huh. When x is 0, then the absolute value of 0 is 0. So you have a 0, 0 is on the graph. Similarly, you plug in 1 here. You get x is 1, y is 1, x is 2. Y is 2. So you have these two points. And then you connect uh, these five points together, you'll get a line. Okay. And here is the animation graph. Huh. In this animation graph, you can do, you can play is, you know, click on that. Oh. You see, it tells you how to draw the graph. Huh? So you may play this one frame by frame. You click on that. It tells you what? Negative two. Oh, it tells you x is stop. Let's see, right here. Well, frame by frame. Ah, so x is negative 2, you have a y is 2. So this point. One more frame, negative 1, 1, so this point. And then zero, zero, third point, fourth point, and the fifth point. Huh, it's very interesting to see how it goes. Huh. And then when you go back to look at this analytic expression, it might be clear to you. Huh. No, let's go back. Right down here, uh, this is like piecewise function, piecewise function. Uh, we basically translate this piecewise function, uh, this absolute function, absolute value function, into two parts. You see, previously, when x is negative 2, uh, x is negative 2 here, you get a positive 2. How did you get it? 
huh? You see right here, huh? But you know, x is negative two. I want to put here. Then negative x is negative negative two, which is positive two. Huh? X is less than zero, it means it's negative. Huh. So that means when X is less than or equal to zero, is like our case here, you want to put negative in front of it, like here. So negative, negative, you get positive two. Because absolute value is always positive. Huh. That's how we got here, okay? For the first piece. For the second piece, that's easier because if x is greater than zero or zero less than x, then x is positive. Since x is positive, then absolute value of x is just x for this piece. Huh. So that's why you have y equals absolute value of x, which is x. Okay. So that's the animation thing. Huh. Uh, for the following example uh, about linear, you may enjoy yourself. Huh. I'll see you next time.